everyone, I'm Ashley Bonaire, and I'm a pediatric critical care medicine fellow at the Children's Hospital at Montefiore, or what we like to call it, CHAM. We're so happy that you're considering us for fellowship. So today, I'm gonna to take you on a virtual tour of the Children's Hospital and specifically show you the pediatric intensive care unit. Let's go. The Children's Hospital at Montefiore is the only hospital in the Bronx exclusively dedicated to meeting the healthcare needs of children. Nestled between Manhattan and Westchester County, CHAM is a premier academic children's hospital, nationally renowned for its clinical excellence, innovative research, and commitment to training the next generation of pediatricians and pediatric subspecialists. As we head into CHAM, you're greeted by our 24-7 lobby. CHAM acts like the home base for us. It is the main clinical site for our fellowship, and it's also the pediatric teaching hospital for the Albert Einstein College of Medicine. As we pass through the lobby, you'll notice our CHAM Community Pharmacy and the Family Learning Center. Both of these resources are available to our patients. You'll also notice our cafe, one of the many on the hospital campus. As you probably already know, coffee is pretty important for a picky fellow. If you continue through the lobby, you'll find your way into the adult hospital. This is where our cafeteria, and on-site parking is located. So let's go where we really want to go and head upstairs. The Pediatric Critical Care Unit is located on the 10th floor, the highest floor in the building. We like to call it CHAM 10. And this will be where you will be spending most of your time in fellowship. Say hi to Troy. of your clinical experience happens in our 26-bed pediatric critical care unit. This is a closed unit in which the critical care team is primarily responsible for the care of all medical and surgical patients. We're a full-service, family center unit with fellows and attendings on-site 24-7. We treat critical pediatric cases from around New York City, Westchester County, and the Northeast region. Patient needs span the entire range of pediatric critical care medicine, with strong representation in acute respiratory failure, septic shock, solid organ transplant, and neurosurgery. In addition to comprehensive education in critical care procedures and management, fellows receive extensive training in all methods of advanced therapeutics, including non-conventional respiratory support, ECMO, and renal replacement therapies. Next is morning brief. This includes our charge nurse, our respiratory team, the fellows, and attendings. We talk about our plan for the day, assign roles, discuss admissions, transfers, OR cases, and any safety concern anyone may have. Rounds are a multidisciplinary effort and composed of the attending, the residents, the fellows, the nurse, and pharmacy. Our subspecialists and surgeons also join us for rounds. We really raise the educational bar here at CHAM. As fellows, we are expected to educate trainees, peers, and patients during and long after fellowship. IMPACTS, also known as Improving Pediatric Acute Care through Simulation, is led by the fellow every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday morning. This program involves participating in a short simulated scenario of a specific patient on the unit. It provides all members of the team with knowledge, skill, and attitudes to deliver high quality care to the patient. Let's check out some of our patient rooms. This room is one of our favorites because it has a beautiful view of the New York City skyline. Right on our unit, there is an office designated for the attendings on service. Our attendings are always approachable and accessible if we need them. This is our transport stretcher and backpack ready to go. If we get a call from an outside hospital, as a picky fellow, you triage the ICU transport calls. Sometimes you need to head out on a transport to pick up a really sick kid. Caring for a sick child can be pretty stressful for their families. 
this family room gives our families a safe space to go to. There are two more important rooms I want to show you. This is our conference room. Here is where we have our fellow lectures, journal club, radiology rounds, interdisciplinary rounds, patient care conference, and most of our family meetings. And this is our fellow office slash call room. It's lovely. It's stocked with snacks, coffee, a computer, our COVID gear, and most importantly, a bed. You also get this great view of the Bronx. As we walk around the unit, you get to meet some of my favorite people. These are two of our wonderful charge nurses, Michelle and Janina. Swanee and Alex are our amazing social workers. Both are heavily involved with helping to assist our patients and their families. Joyce from Physical Therapy and Kat from Child Life. Corinne, our fantastic dietitian. You cannot forget Dara, our clinical pharmacy manager. You're pretty lucky if you find Sandy the candy lady. Then there's our respiratory therapist, Sakar and Judy Lynn. And of course, you can't forget our Cham 10 PICU nurses. They are the best to work with and we love them. So it's time to say goodbye to CHAM 10 for just a bit. As the PICU fellow, you are part of the CHAM Pediatric Medical Emergency Team. Also known as PMET, the Pediatric Medical Emergency Team can be activated by anyone in the hospital at any time to provide critical care expertise at the bedside of a patient whose condition is worsening. This can essentially happen anywhere throughout CHAM. So it's important I show you a bit more of the hospital. CHAM 6 has 28 beds and consists of our adolescent and orthopedic patients, as well as our epilepsy unit. CHAM 8 is approximately 42 beds, with a mix of general and subspecialty inpatient services. This is mostly where the younger patients are. And CHAM 9 has 36 beds. Most of the patients here are our bone marrow transplant patients, our hemong patients, after being well taken care of by the pediatric ICU team upstairs, children who underwent solid organ transplants, neurosurgery, as well as high-risk ENT procedures also come to CHAM 9. And speaking of our hematology oncology patients, this is our new infusion center. The subspecialty clinics that serve our community are located on the 3rd, 4th, and 5th floor. The cardiac cath lab is also on the 4th floor. CHAM has a complex care program called LINX also known as linking individual needs of children with services. Many of our complex patients we see frequently in the ICU are part of this program. Navigating healthcare can be stressful, especially when a child has multiple medical conditions or requires medical equipment. So the LINX programs can help provide family-centered comprehensive care for these kids. Last stop, this is Wayne. Wayne is a nearby building one block from the Children's Hospital. Wayne houses our administrative offices for the Department of Pediatrics. The offices for the Division of Peds Critical Care Medicine are located on the 8th floor of Wayne. You'll spend a lot of time here when you're on research. It's a beautiful space. The fellows have their own spot together, so you can imagine how close we are. The remainder of our attendings and faculty have their own offices around the suite. This is one of our first years, Dave. And let me introduce you to Asia. Asia is our administrative assistant and our fellowship coordinator, so she's pretty important. Hi, I'm Mike Uche. I'm the interim chief of critical care medicine here at CHAM and medical director of our pediatric critical care unit. I hope you've enjoyed this video introduction to Pediatric Critical Care Medicine at the Children's Hospital in Montefiore. Please, if you have any questions or want to learn more, please reach out. We're here to meet you, greet you, and hopefully invite you to come here and train with us. That's all of CHAM. I really hope you enjoyed your virtual tour. I actually had a pretty good time showing you around today. CHAM has become my home away from home. It's a great place to train, and I'm really happy that I matched here. And I'm pretty sure all of my co-fellows cool would agree with me. 
And although this tour showed you what a great hospital this is, it's not the actual hospital that makes it great. It's the people working inside and the patients inside that make CHAM such a wonderful place to work. We're really hoping that you decide to join us, but what we really like to say is, come be a part of our family. Thanks guys, and good luck.